Hi, and thanks for watching. This is George at Wicked Warnings here with the brand new 2018 GMC Canyon. This is the baby brother to the 1500 series trucks. We wanted this discreet white package. If you can see right there in the grill, we have our LED HAW Duo in white, low dome version. We back mounted that on each side of the upper grill there for as uh, discreet packages we could kind of get on the front of this. We've got them set on a fast double flash alternation. We've also got the same lights in the low, a high dome version, the HD version in the back in the cargo and reverse, which I'll show you in a second. Here you can see the brightness. And here you can see that mounting location a little bit better right there. You could also put another set right below it if you chose, and uh, that mounting location is not very hard to work with at all. There's just a little bit of plastic back there, and uh, it's relatively easy to get the lights in once you loosen the grill and move it forward. Out back of this truck, as I mentioned earlier, we've got our HAW Duos in high dual, side mounted in the reverse lenses, and uh, taking the place of the OEM cargo light up top. We've also got the steady burn for both sets tied into the OEM cargo light switch. The GMs, you can do that. I haven't had any problems so far activating the steady burn cargo light circuit. The Ford, on the other hand, uh, Ford does not like that, and we have had issues with Ford. But the GM product, you're able to use the OEM switch to activate the steady burn. I'll show you the strobes now. That's again the double flash, uh, double flash fast alternation pattern. We've got it matched up in an X pattern by synchronizing the top set with the bottom set. This is to match the front. So we've got a total of six LED HAW duos on this truck, uh, three sets, six lights total. And we have the steady burn, which I'll demonstrate. As you can see, by triggering the OEM cargo lamp switch, you can get a steady burn out of all four lights, useful for loading a trailer, somebody tailgating you, uh, reversing at night, all kinds of good stuff. Once the switch is released, it goes back to the uh, flashing mode if the strobe light switch is on on the dashboard. And if uh, the warning lights are not activated, you can still use the steady burn mode. You, uh, you don't need the warning lights activated for that cargo switch to work. Speaking of switches, I'll show you in the cabin where we chose to put the uh, three-quarter low-profile switch that we have on our website in this vehicle. Here you can see our blue dot switch. It's placed right above the credit card slot here in the dash on the left-hand side. That panel is relatively inexpensive to replace if you were to try to trade the truck in or want to get rid of the switch hole. Otherwise, when the switch is off, you really don't even notice it. It's the same black plastic as the panel and it almost but disappears. Nice bright blue LED when you're in flashing mode. Check the video description for a link to buy all the products needed including the wiring and the switch for this particular build. If you have the same truck, you can simply click the link, click the link and order everything you need with one easy click uh, make sure you check the like button for us subscribe to our channel check us out on Facebook and uh, Instagram as well and uh, make sure you subscribe to the newsletter at wickedwarnings.com thanks again for watching